Okay guys, let's talk about what's in this bag. Hi guys, I am back today with another video. I just made it in from taking a trip to one of my favorite stores, which is Half Price Books. And I managed to purchase some really nice things. And the funny thing about my purchase today is I almost had to leave all of my items there and go back tomorrow and purchase them because at half price books they pass out these 10 percent off coupons and I had a decent sized order to use the coupon but I had forgotten it at home they closed for 8 o'clock p.m. and I was in at the checkout at 7 50 realized I didn't have my coupon and had to leave the store rush home come up three flights of stairs grab the coupon run back down three flights of stairs once I retrieved the coupon and head back to the store I think I made it back to the store at like 757 or something like that and when I walked in and paid they said the um cashiers told me that it was very impressive that I even made it back that fast so with that being said I'm going to get to showing you the first items that I have in the bag so I first have my DVDs and I have here this is tales from the never-ending story I have seen the never-ending story a countless amount of times but I have never seen nor have I ever known that there was a Tales from the Neverending Story. So this looked quite interesting and I picked that up. I have here Elizabeth. Saw this a many, many times. Um, and as I usually say, I may have this one in storage. I'm sure I have it in storage, but uh, it's brand a brand new copy for a awesome price and so I picked that up this is the Elizabeth mini series I've never seen this so I was pretty happy to see this and I'll be delighted to jump into this one E.T. you can never have too many copies of E.T love this movie it's a classic i'm pretty sure most of you watching knows that so saw that and wanted it and last but not least another classic uh titanic and this one is a digitally remastered copy it's a three disc set so saw that loved it and picked that up as well so getting into books novel based books i have here um no more secondhand art awakening awakening the artist within i thought that this would be a good um book as far as artist inspiration and it was my first time seeing this one. Had never heard of this one. So I decided to pick this one up. This was another interesting find. Mr. Lear, A Life of Art and non Nonsense. And it seemed quite interesting. So this one is in, it was also in the art section. So I think I'll enjoy getting into this one. So this one is not was not in today's haul, but it, it's where I'm currently reading this month for Black History Month. I'm reading On Roots by Alex Haley. And I also wanted to read Queen by Alex Haley. And as I was walking through the shelf, Lo and behold, walking past, I saw this nice hardback copy of Queen. 
on the shelf. So I was really excited to see this one. So once I'm finished with Roots, I will jump right into Queen. So jumping into my art instructional books I have here, um, it's the De Staff Sketchbook, a collection of notes and sketches on women's dress in America from 1774 to 1783. And I am I am very interested in old fashioned. And this gives decent, I mean, detailed sketches and explanations, even patterns of how things were made. So I thought that this was very, very interesting. Then I have here The Beauty of Colored Pencil and Ink Drawings by Jane Wander and this is a very very nice book this is very nice there's templates in it colorful templates and then awesome art lessons it it tells you what you need um drawing surfaces gives you notes and then instructions on doing the actual sketch step-by-step -step instructions on doing the actual sketches so I thought this was very nice and I feel we get the best lessons from a lot of the older art books up next I have this hopefully it's completely in frame let me see this out the way. Okay, so I have um this Joseph Shepherd Anatomy, a complete guide for artists, and this is very very nice detailed um anatomy sketches. Different, it gives you different ways to sketch out things and it every part of the anatomy <clears throat> you will need in order to learn how to sketch is listed in this book so I think I'm very stocked on all my books for anatomy and lastly I have this oceans and seascapes um book on how to draw and paint but I'm going to take you down to look at this one because it's too big for my desk. Okay, and this one has very, very beautiful and detailed lessons. And I feel like um, I could get decent ideas even for backgrounds. If not, and doing the entire painting, I could get, it, get it'll give me very very insightful ideas on doing some of my backgrounds for some of my own paintings so that was my haul for today it was brief but fun and i hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time thank you so much for watching